Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to copy a volume to a new hard drive in Windows. So I have this uh, Windows 11 computer here as a local disk with 80 gig drive, half of it's full, and I want to copy the volume onto a new hard drive, so just copy the whole volume itself. So of course you could, you know, make the new volume, go into File Explorer, or copy all the files, but we're just going to do a volume copy and just do it all in one shot. So to do that, we're going to use a free program called Niobe Partition Editor. So we're going to open this up here. So I already put in the new hard drive here, so it's a 90 gig drive, and it's uninitialized. So what you need to do first is right-click it, initialize it, and then I'm going to pick GPT for the newer scheme. And then one thing to make a note of here, uh, you could do multiple operations before applying it, but I like to do a, an operation, then apply it, and next operation, apply it to avoid problems. So just because I, I allocated it here doesn't mean it's uh, taken place until I click on apply here. So I'm going to say OK. And you also, you should close your file explorer when you're going to be dealing with this too, just to avoid any open file errors or anything like that. OK, so now um, we don't want to make a volume out of this because it's not going to work. So what we want to do is leave it un unallocated. And so we want to right click the volume we want to copy, copy volume, and to our unallocated 90 gigs there, click on next. And then it'll try and make it the same size, which will leave you with some unallocated space, but we're just going to use the whole thing so we'll have some extra space. So we'll drag it across there. Drive letter if you want to change it. We're going to stick with E. We're going to finish. Okay, so now it's not, even though it looks like it's done here, it hasn't been applied yet, so we need to apply it. So we're going to click OK. And so now this is going to have to do the copy process, so we'll pause the video and then be back when it's done. Okay, so the process is complete, and it says one operation has been executed successfully. So I'll click OK to that. All right, so we have our two volumes here, the original one and the new one that was copied over to, using 39% of the original, 34% of the new one because it's bigger. So let's go into File Explorer. So we have our... Original C drive. Let's do a little properties check here. 30.6 gigabytes. Let's just move this over. It's a little more space used on the new one, but that could be, you know, because of the, you know, properties of the hard drive and so on. So it looks okay. So like I said, if you're going to use this uh, tool, just make sure you uh, apply each step as you go along. And of course, just like with anything with the hard drive, back up your information before you try something like this, especially if you're doing your Windows drive or stuff with your documents on it. All right, so I'll put a link in the description, and you could uh, download the tool and try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.